your first Alert 5 weather with Jessica Van Meter. Welcome back to News 5 at 6. As I mentioned, we are going to get cold tonight and into tomorrow, especially when it comes to our wind chills. Temperatures themselves will be very cold, but we'll have a bit of a wind on top of that, so it'll make it feel even colder. Here's a look at our forecasted wind chills tomorrow morning at 630 in the morning into the negatives for areas like Westcliff, Woodland Park, Monument, single digits. That's what it's going to feel like tomorrow morning in and around Colorado Springs. So as you do send the kids off in the morning, get started yourself. Definitely want to bundle up heading out tomorrow. So here's why we've got our jet stream, a big dip in that jet stream through the central part of the country. With that, a lot of cold air coming down from Canada. In fact, we've got a cold front just off to our north behind that got a lot of cold air that's still trying to push its way down. We're just 15 degrees right now in Rapid City, 18 in Minneapolis, just 8 degrees in Minot, and all of that cold air is going to continue to try to push south and keep us very chilly tonight and into at least tomorrow. So for our overnight lows, we will drop very cold for tonight. Temperatures in the single digits to low double digits around the Pueblo area, right around double digits for Colorado Springs, up towards areas of Woodland Park, the Palmer Divide, like Monument, only in the single digits for our low temperatures tonight heading into tomorrow morning and even colder with those wind chills. Tomorrow we'll only get into the 20s for areas of Teller County, northern El Paso County. That'll be our best chance for any snow as well, those higher elevation areas. Towards Colorado Springs, temperatures will be chilly throughout the day. Highs only in the 30s, just barely above freezing. And we are going to have a gusty wind at time coming from, times coming from the north, so that'll make it feel even colder throughout the day. Down towards Pueblo, more temperatures only in the 30s. In fact, most of us will be in the 30s tomorrow. A few of our warmest areas out towards the plains will be lucky to hit those low 40s. Now, I mentioned some snow chances so far today. Those have stayed confined mainly to areas west of I-25 across some of the higher elevations. Areas of Teller County like Cripple Creek seeing a little bit of snow. Most of that will be towards the south for tonight. Areas south of Highway 50, the Wet Sangres, Southern I-25 corridor could see a quick inch or two through the early overnight hours. Most of our sky is clear heading into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a cold start to the day with those temperatures in the single digits and low double digits throughout the day. Tomorrow we stay dry for the first part of the day. By noon, though, we're starting to get a little bit of activity going around the Pikes Peak region. Best chance for shower activity tomorrow will really be towards the Palmer Divide and areas west of I-25 up towards Teller County. That'll be our primary focus of snow even towards the 5 p.m. hour. So if you do have that drive between Colorado Springs and Denver, you might encounter some of that light snow through the evening commute. By midnight heading into Friday morning, still a little bit of snow around the Pikes Peak region and the southern border. Now all of this will add up a little bit for a few areas as we get through tonight towards tomorrow morning. Maybe a quick inch or two for areas of the wet Sangre to Crystal Mountains with what we see tomorrow. Best shot at any accumulation really for areas like Monument, Woodland Park and Teller County. Some of those higher elevation areas could see about two to three inches by the time we hit Friday morning. Once we get past tonight and tomorrow, things really do improve quickly for the rest of the week. We'll have lows rebounding into the 20s. High temperatures rebounding into the 50s starting on Wednesday. We will still have some wind to contend with on Wednesday, so still some areas dealing with a bit of a wind chill. But heading into the weekend, things look very nice. Upper 50s around Colorado Springs. A little breeziness returns by Sunday and Monday. Pueblo, tonight we're getting cold, and tomorrow we're getting cold. Highs only in the upper 30s. After that, though, we'll back, we're back into the 50s, even some low 60s for the weekend. In Canyon City, we do stay mainly dry but cold for tonight. Temperatures into the single digits and even some bitterly cold wind chills heading our way. 30s for tomorrow, back into the 50s after that. That weekend looking pretty great at this point. Woodland Park and some of those higher elevation areas, single digits tonight. Wind chills will be in the negatives for tomorrow morning. Highs only getting into the 20s. Areas like Woodland Park, the Palmer Divide, better chance for some of those snow showers tomorrow. Could see a quick two to three inches through the second half of the day and into Thursday night. After that, things really improving, though. We're back into the 40s, even close to 50 by Sunday.